Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Unreal Engine 5.1 has recently been released, and guess what? Exponential height fog and atmosphere is now supported in path tracing, and it looks good. I'm going to show you how to enable it, what kind of settings to do, and give you a few examples. Let's get started. As with any project that you're going to be using path tracing in, you're going to want to make sure that you enable ray tracing when you create a project. It's better to do it in the beginning than have to do it later because shaders can take forever to compile. I also always start with the third person game template. It just helps with scaling and I like to have the character. So here we are in a new project and I've created a new blank level, which mostly comes with all your lighting components included. I dropped in the mannequin just so we have something to reference in our scene. And so let's hop on over to our exponential height fog. And I want to go ahead and increase the density here. I'm going to take that up to 0.2. And you can see we do get a little bit more fog here. However, this is a pretty generic fog. We need to enable volumetric fog. So in the details panel, search volumetric and check that box. Now you can see here we're getting actual proper volumetric fog. It looks so much better, right? Well, let's click on over. Let's go from lit to path tracing. And all of a sudden, now we have nothing. There's no atmosphere. We have this black line. There's no fog. So how do we enable that within path tracing? Well, with Unreal Engine 5.1, it now supports volumetric fog. So what we need to do is create a new post-process volume. And in our post process, let's go ahead and search bound and let's enable infinite extent bound. That makes sure it covers our entire scene. Next within post process volume, let's go ahead and search for path. And this is gonna give us all of our path tracing settings. The most important one we're looking for here is reference atmosphere. So let's go ahead and enable that. So you'll notice here, it looks quite a bit better. However, let's take our exponential height fog and let's just crank up the density to two. It doesn't seem to be making any difference. One thing to remember when working with the exponential height fog is it is actually dependent on its actual position. So if you notice here, our standard position that it comes in on a blank project is way off the screen. So let's just zero that out and bam, you can see now we have fog. So let's take this back down to 0.2 and give us something a little more reasonable here. Now you can see we have proper volumetric fog within path tracing, and it looks really good. Let's switch back over to Lumen here so you can reference it. That's what a Lumen scene would look like. Yes, we do have clouds, and we are losing that within path tracing, however, but the actual volumetric fog looks really, really good. And you can see here, let's move our camera, let's drop our light down a little bit, you can see how it casts through and it looks really, really good. Let's take that density up again. And man, you can see how you could create some pretty eerie looking foggy scenes now with this and path tracing. So I went ahead and created a really simple map here with a couple examples in it to show you the difference between lumen and path tracing and the volumetric fog. Kind of a silly scene here with the mannequin and a couple marketplace assets and some Quixel mega scans here. This is Lumen here, which overall looks pretty good. This is a real time lighting system and it looks pretty good for what it is. However, I've already enabled everything for path tracing. So let's take a look here. And in path tracing, you can see we're getting much more realistic light bounces, light travel through the atmosphere, through the volumetrics, the shadows, the reflections, everything just looks that much better. So here we are with our first little scene here. Let's switch over. I put together a couple different camera angles here. Here's another pretty cool shot here of a large plane, definitely showing a ton of depth in the scene. You can see the vehicles off here in the distance. You can also get really good light rays coming through from your sun. The sun is just behind the plane here, and you can see these beautiful light rays casting off of the plane here, some nice dark streaks and light streaks. Looks really good. In our last shot here, I went ahead and added in one of the Paragon characters and increased his size so that you can see by 
adding that volumetric fog and that density, it gives some distance and size to something that may not necessarily have that in just a, a lumen scene. And especially with path tracing, path tracing looks really, really good compared to lumen or even ray tracing. Yes, it takes longer. No, it's not meant for real time and gaming. However, if you're looking to render cinematics and render just still images, it looks way better than both lumen and ray tracing. And now that it sports exponential height fog, it is huge. It looks so much better. So there you have it. That's how you enable exponential height fog with inside path tracing in Unreal Engine 5.1. There's a ton of new features in 5.1, especially with path tracing. We'll do some other videos of that in the future here. But don't forget, when you're creating this, your exponential height fog needs to have volumetric fog enabled. You need to zero out the position because the starting position does not work. You need to either create a post-process volume or within your camera settings, you need to go to the path tracing settings and enable the reference atmosphere. Otherwise, it will not work. I hope you guys like this short little tutorial for path tracing. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. And until next time, peace out.